Let's bring in Utah Republican Congressman Burgess Owens. Uh, Congressman Owens, thank you so much for being here. Let's piggyback off of Chad's re excellent reporting there. We now have, at least from what we understand, four top Democrats in that call with Hakeem Jeffries today saying they believe Biden should step aside and that Vice President Kamala Harris should be the person who takes over. What do you make of this latest reporting at this hour? Well, Brian, first of all, uh, uh, for me, it's so refreshing to see the Democratic Party going through the chaos that they brought to this country for the last four years. Um, uh, this, I've been around for four years now. Uh, this is not a shocker that, uh, uh, that Biden is not uh, uh, mentally capable anymore. Uh, the shock is that, uh, is that you have so many Democrats that voted for him, allowed him to continue to go down this path of, of hurting our nation so many different ways, uh, and now they're acting as if they, they had no idea this was coming. So, uh, no, they, they, they're not going to be able to force Biden to do anything. He's in, he's in a position that many of us understand He's not about America first. He's not about uh, our country or the Democratic Party first. So they can they can come together and, and try to shame him out of out, out of office. But he's the president of the United States. He has the ability to stand there unless they uh, 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 invoke the Twenty Fifth Amendment, which I don't think they're going to do. So I, I I personally believe that he's in a position now. He does not. He's totally disconnected with reality. He's not going to step down. And with that being said, it's going to be continued chaos in the Democratic Party. There's a lot of questions now about what Congress can do. Obviously, Republicans are the majority there. You just talked about the 25th Amendment. Uh, Chad Pergram says he doesn't believe a resolution for the 25th Amendment will hit the floor this week. Here's Byron Donalds, uh, the congressman on Fox News Sunday, about his support of invoking the 25th Amendment. I do agree we do have a responsibility to make sure that the occupants of the Oval Office has the mental capabilities to do that job. What we are seeing is that they have decided to cover up for Joe Biden to protect their radical agenda as opposed to doing what is in the best interest of the American people. If that resolution hits the floor, I would vote for it 100 percent. Congressman, uh, should that resolution invoking the 25th Amendment hit the floor and will you support it? Well, if, if it did hit the floor, I would, I would uh, definitely uh, uh, support it because at the end of the day, he, he's, uh, he's compromised. And we all see that. The, there's not only a threat that we see uh, in terms of as we approach the, the election time, what is it, what are, what are our enemies thinking about this process? Um, and and I, I don't know, if, again, if it will hit the floor, but uh, we have a lot of folks understand exactly what this president is right now, and we're willing to, to go through the process and uh, see where it takes us from there. The House Committee on Oversight Chairman James Comer, your colleague, is calling on President Biden's physician, Kevin O'Connor, the doctor, to appear before Congress for a transcribed interview. He's concerned that his medical assessments of the president have been improperly influenced by his ties with the Biden family, particularly uh, making money through the Biden family. Do you think that there has been a systemic cover-up by the White House, by the Biden family, of... of covering up the president's declining uh, mental acuity. And do you want to hear from the physician? Uh, I would. I think American people American deserve that. Uh, Brian, this has been going for four years. Uh, for those, uh, those who have not listened to uh, conservative outlets, they're surprised by it, but we are not. And at the end of the day, this, this collusion, those who have tried to hide this, uh, this, this decline by our president has done nothing but hurt our country. The only reason now that we're going through this process, if the Democratic Party could have hidden Biden uh, a little bit longer, not, not to have the debate they had with President Trump, then we still would not know what's going on right now. So, yes, we have to make sure that we're doing the best for our country. Truth is, is the way our country has always been uh, designed to, to deal with. Uh, ignorant or free, we can never be, as John Thomas, uh, Thomas Jefferson once said, we need to make sure American people are informed so we make the right decisions to get, the, get, get President Trump back and a, and, a, and a party that really cares about our country being, being number one again. You know, back in February, spe Special Counsel Robert Hur conducted that interview with President Biden as part of the classified documents case. Uh, let's put on the screen uh, what uh, Hur said in his report. He said, you know, at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. Now, the White House and the campaign and the president pushed back really hard on that. That was back in February. Now, in hindsight, we look at that with a whole new set of eyes. I'm wondering, um, you know, you have a colleague, Anna Paulina Luna. She's a representative from Florida who's indicated that they should advance a measure in the House that would fine Attorney General Merrick Garland $10,000 a day. Let's listen to what she has to say here. 
We fully intend on bringing this up on Wednesday afternoon, potentially. Um, obviously, with the speaker supporting this, I do believe that it will pass. And so how this will work is Garland will be required out of his own pocket to pay a $10,000 a day fine for every day that he holds out on those tapes. Congressman, do you support that measure, a $10,000 a day fine for every day that the uh, DOJ, Merrick Garland, decides not to release those audio tapes? Absolutely. And every congressperson, Democrat and Republican, should be supporting that also. Well, this is about our country, Brian, not about the Democratic Party, not about the Republican Party. It's about we the people. And if we have someone who cannot function in this position, someone that if he was a coach of an NFL team, these Democrats would want him fired immediately. We have to care about our country first. So, yes, I will, I will support that. Uh, I think it's interesting that we've had to, to, to go this long to fight to get transcripts of something's already, I mean, a video of something's already been put out on transcripts. So they're still trying to hide. Uh, we're going to continue to fight until the American people know exactly what we have in, in, in place uh, in, in, terms, in terms of our presidency and also the Democrats that support this type of process that we're going through so far. And my last question here quickly, Congressman, do you agree with Senator Lindsey Graham that from here on out, all presidents, including former President Donald Trump, should be subjected to cognitive tests and that those test results should be made public? Absolutely. This is the most important um, position in, 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 our, in our nation, in, our, in the world. And we need to have people that are competent. Now, obviously, uh, uh, the American people are, are in the past have already been able to see that there have been competent people in place. This is the first time I think we've had this position where mentally declining president has been hidden from the American people. So it allows us now to ask that question, how can we make sure that this never happens again? And taking a test will be a good place for us to gauge and make the decision whether we want that person in, in uh, moving forward or not. So uh, I would go along with that for sure.